Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to announce the release of the patch 1 for Wonder Indusoft Web Studio version v8.0 plus Surspec 1. Here's our agenda for today's presentation, and I'm going to start with what's new at a glance. So, we're going to talk about the modified custom widget feature, where we allow now to be resized. We're going to talk about improvements on mobile access, improvements on our multi-touch feature, and a glimpse on the 25 change requests and 26 issues that were resolved. First, we're going to start with the enhancements on the custom widgets. What we did is this. On the custom widgets, when you insert a custom widget on the window, it has a size for it where it's going to be designed. But now we implemented the capability of resizing the custom widgets. As you can see on the first screenshot, that's the original sizes of the custom widgets, the same uh, that is yellow and green, that's a custom widget. And on the other screenshots, you have one screenshot that shows the mobile access with the custom widget resized and one on our viewer module resizing as well. We also implemented some stability and improvements and we fixed it, all the bugs that were found on the custom widget so far. Let's talk about the enhancements on mobile access. So the major enhancement is that we have a new zoom mode, which is called the single screen scaling zoom. This allows to see, let's say, a bigger screen or a single screen that usually is part of a screen group centered and resized to fit that screen size. You can see on this screenshot where we fit one screen from our demo, the OIGAS screen, which is centered and we can see the entire screen. This is great for mobile devices and that's where this request came from, from usually users from mobile devices. Next, we're going to talk about the new swipe commands on the multi-touch. So what we added now is on the touch events, we add new four uh, events on swipe right, swipe left, swipe down, and swipe up. And the way it works, you can see on the screenshot on the right, on the very bottom, where you have the screen on swipe left, I put, for instance, to open another screen. So when you do this, as I swipe the finger from right to left, so I press the screen and quickly move it, on this case, to the left, we're going to execute the script that we put on swipe left. Okay, in this case, we are opening new screens. So this makes an experience very similar to what you have when you're seeing uh, photos on your cell phone that you know, are swiping the photos. You'll be able to be swiping screens as well. And let's take a quick look on the improvements. Out of the 25 improvement items, I just selected a few of them. So we modified the panel weight import wizard. Uh, is a request that came from customers. We implemented on the close function, the function that we use to close the screens. If you don't pass any parameter, we're gonna close the screen that's on the focus. We had requests to improve our integration with Wonder Online using the story forward option. We modify our function that translates our binary proprietary historical trend data into text to be able to uh, process information in different intervals. We change it, some of the messages that we show on the output window related to the security system, mostly uh, related to authentication and this type of situation. On the tag properties window, now you can edit the description of one of these tags. And among the bug fixes, we're gonna talk, we have, uh, for instance, we resolved an alignment issue on the caption, we resolved an issue with ActiveX configuration window that was not saving the events anymore. We resolved an issue with the mobile access that was executing the onup command uh, twice sometimes. On the new global find replace, we already found some issues, we fixed them depending on the screen that was open. And also we resolved the issue with uh, duplicated messages on the alarm control event when we're using binary mode. And finally, on the trend control object, when we were using a batch mode, it was unstable, was not working properly. So we got to fix it as well. With this, I would like to thank the whole Windowsoft team, everybody that helped with this release. And I hope you guys enjoyed the product, using it as much as we enjoyed making it. Thank you.